boy has the last couple months been surprisingly awesome making videos, talking about, and sometimes really analyzing in depth, comics. It's a medium I love, and yes, that's why I try not to be too negative in the comics I talk about. So, in the spirit of the holidays, my gift to you is something that I can afford. The working schedule for next year! Of course, the card is subject to change. We're going to start off the year with Crossover Month, a month dedicated to all those wonderful comics when two franchises cross over, like Lobo and the Mask or Voltron vs. Robotech. February is going to be something special as I cover the Dark Tower comics with a special guest. No, it won't be anyone famous, just a friend who's a fanboy for the novels, so he wouldn't let me do it without him. As we march into March, sorry about that, I'll be covering two different books. First half of the month we'll be covering the awesome Invincible comic series for Matt Lipton. And then Savage Dragon, which is a comic that I've never really read, but Matt Hickman keeps saying that I need to cover it, so I will. Originally, both were going to be given a full month by themselves, but I had to crunch for time here. And the reason I had to crunch those two together is to celebrate Aftershock comics all throughout April, their birth month. There's a lot of fantastic comics to choose from, so I'm glad I have a couple months to decide. I may also try not to cover two of the comics I've been raving about on all my other channels. If you follow them, you know which two I'm talking about. May is Star Wars Legends Month. It was Star Wars Month before the mouse took December, and I'm sticking to it. Just for that month, I'm going to be covering the Legends material, which is basically most things that happened before Disney's purchase. Truly some epic stories, and also truly some terrible ones. We'll see which ones I pick. Well, I know there is going to be some... Wait, what? Why? June is going to be another month dedicated to the Dark Tower franchise to celebrate the film's release. I enjoy the comics, I enjoyed the books, so yes, I want to give the world more cause to be excited. July is going to be split between Spider-Man and Wonder Woman due to their movies, though Wonder Woman's does come out in June. No idea where I'm even going to get started with these two. What am I even doing for August? Oh yeah, this is going to be my event comic month, where I take the whole month to covering an event comic possibly including tie-ins. Now I know what you're thinking, but recently a lot of events have been more than 30 comics, including tie-ins. To which I say, you're absolutely right! That does mean that sometimes we may have two videos a day. I know, terrifying notion, but if this works out to be feasible, then I may run longer comic series alongside my standard ones, like the ultimate Marvel a day I've been figuring out how to wedge in. September is going to go directly to my favorite comic book team of all time, the X-Men. Why September? Because it's when their first issue was published, obviously. However, I think I'll be playful with it and maybe not do it in publication order, but in a chronological order that I found online. That may be tricky, yet fun. October will be another batch of Ash vs. the Archivist, though this time it'll actually start at the beginning of Ash's comic book history and filling in some of the gaps from the first year. Hey, I enjoy these a lot. November is going to be another double up month with Thor and the Justice League. Again, no idea what comics I'm going to go with specifically. I may actually do Planet Hulk, since that seems to be a recurring theme in the marketing for Ragnarok right now. And finally, to cap off the year, we have Canon Star Wars Month again, where I'll cover some of the Canon comics. I'll probably do something like Shattered Empire and any other New Republic era comics just to make it semi-topical to Episode 8. But we gotta see what comics come out in that time. And that's the general layout of how this coming year looks. I tried keeping it vague enough that you'll want to check them out, and some things are subject to change. So, as my favorite TV clown says, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, a Quasi Kwanzaa, a Tip Top Tet, and a Solemn and Dignified Ramadan.